Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here on this beautiful, uh, sunshiny morning and going to uh, start a new project. I haven't done a project in a while, but I've had a lot going on. The hurricane came through and done a lot of limb damage. Uh, didn't touch my house, thank the Lord, but my woods back behind me here knocked down trees and all couldn't even get through my my little path to my mailbox is back there and I couldn't get through it because there was just no way to go through limbs and big trees fell but uh, me and my grandson Cody we got out there and sawed and trimmed and moved and got the path straightened out so I can walk to the mailbox again and I'm so happy thank the Lord <laughs> So, I'm going to get started now with my project. It's going to be a different, uh, uh, I've not done one like this. So, let's see how that turns out. And I'm going to mix up my cement now, and I'm going to show you how, how I do that. And have a blessed day. Subscribe and share. Thank you so much. First, you put in your cement which is 12 cups and I'm going to pour it in easy so it doesn't make much dust because I don't have a mask on and this is 12 cups of Georgia sand I put whatever this is 12 more cups of sand whatever you However much cement, you put twice that much sand. And that's my mix that I use. And you mix it up. You get it, you get it mixed up real good. You pour in your water. This is my little measuring thing for one cup. I think I'm going to put some uh, perlite in it. One, two, three, four, four cups of perlite. my water I don't want it real thin today I want it where it will kind of stay together where I put it I know that's not enough I tell you, the the storm. We don't usually get things like that very often in Georgia. People's lights were out for days, like five, six days. Thankfully, that mine was just out eleven hours. But me and my grandson. We painted and we uh, talked and done things together that you don't do whenever you got lights. <laughs> but we had fun and we were so thankful when the lights came back on. I had turned the lights in the room on and off so many times just forgetting the lights were not on. You walk in a room and reach for the switch and nothing comes on but the people in Texas and the places where it 
water was in their homes it tore it just destroyed everything I'm so sorry that those people have I'm so fortunate to be just have my lights go out and a few limbs in my yard to pick up well it was more than a few but didn't didn't uh, blow any shingles off my house We have blessings every day, even though we don't sometimes even know uh, that we're getting blessed when we are. So I thank the Lord every day for blessings that I receive all, all the time. I'm just so thankful to be be, being able to make pots and enjoy getting outside and walking through the woods and doing things that I like. I'm trying not to get too much water in here because... You, you can't take it back out. You can add a little more dry ingredients, but I would rather not do that if I can help it. I'm trying to be real careful and not get too much to begin with. I've got some gloves. I need to put them on. I am going to put them on, but I haven't put them on yet. Me and my grandson went down in the woods and cleaned up all the trees and limbs that we could so I could get through there to go to my mailbox. Which is kind of through the woods and up the little path. And I don't mind walking up there. I like the exercise that I get from it. Okay, I think that's sort of about what I want. It's not too, it's, it's about right, about what I want. I'm going to put some of my mix in this thing. There's a little container. Okay, and I'm going to put some of it in this container. Okay, I'm going to leave that in this con container. I'm going to try something different. This is some old paint that I had that I'm going to use. My camera's not wanting to cooperate. I'm putting blue and red paint in here. I want my I want my mixture to be uh, purple. When you mix red and blue, that's what you get, supposed to. <laughs> I'm going to see how much it's going to take to do that. My 
Goodness, I didn't know it was going to take this much. Try to mix up this another color if I can. Okay, as you can see, I've got, ooh, feel some green and orange and purple. I think I'm going to need some more blue. Red. Okay, I got some little sparkly.
sparkly things right here. I'm going to put a few of them in there and see what, see what it does. <laughs> I'm just making up stuff. Oh, it's going to be pretty. I reckon, I don't know. gonna put some sparkly stuff in my my green one same sparkly stuff in this one Okay, now I've got my orange one. got some uh, orange stuff. Let me see what it looks like in here. Anyway, there's my basket. I'm going to put this in my basket. Keep it from sticking, but if it does stick, I'll tear the basket up. It doesn't matter because the basket's old and it's falling apart anyway. So. Okay, I'm going to put my camera up here where you can see down in the basket when I'm working on it. Okay. Never done this before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Putting the bottom in. I'll put some of all colors on the bottom. Gonna put this in here to hold it apart. So 
so I can put these colors in here. I'm going to start off with the, the dark color. And I'm going to put some all around. put some green color in here. This is so pretty. I hope this pot looks good when it gets done. Put more layers in here. I'm going to push this stick down in here and see.
Okay, we're going to let this dry and see what kind of, what in the world, how I'm going to get it out of there. But y'all have a blessed day. Good morning. I'm Helen from Georgia, and I'm out here bright and early this morning on a beautiful morning. I love mornings, and I love the sunshine, and I love my birds and my peaceful place. This is my peaceful place right here. I'm so thankful to have it. And I'm out here this morning going to open up a project that I started a few days ago. It's it's going, I'm going to open up my pot that I made with all colors of cement. I'm going to see how it turned out, if I can get it out. <laughs> Hopefully I can. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Have a blessed day. Subscribe and share. Thank you so much. And be kind to each other. It, you'll get a blessing. Thank you. Okay. Here's the project. <laughs> Uh, I put a rock on it to hold it down. And I put an old coffee can down in here because I didn't have anything to put big enough. So I'm going to try to get this out. And Try to get the other out. I don't know. I'm gonna need a knife. Okay, I got the top. Now, let's see. Let me bring it over here closer where you can look down in it with me. I really don't know what this is, is going to do. I may have to cut this. I, I probably am. I'm just going to cut it out. Because it's plastic. And I don't know why things I put in stuff don't come out good. I mean, don't come out the mold like they should. Piece by piece, maybe I can get it out. I don't know. This is pretty strong plastic. It doesn't give much. I may need to sharpen my knife a little more. Oh, I'm probably going to get it. Piece by piece. Okay, I <laughs> got my knife sharp. Now let's see if it'll cut any better. Might cut me. There's the 
doing a lot better since I sharp my knife. saving this can but I don't guess I'm gonna need it <laughs> it served its purpose I guess if I can get it out I'll know next time I, I won't I'll get something more flexible than this it might come out better Tell you what, <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> Put a fire in here. See if I can melt this plastic enough to get it out. So this won't hurt the pot, but I better go get my gloves so I can reach my hand in there when it gets soft. It won't hurt this <laughs> pot, I don't think. Whew, might burn up my little sparkly things This ought to do it. Put some water in it or something. Oh, I had to burn my glove up. smoke everywhere. We still not through. I got to get it out of this basket. But the basket can go. It's already old and falling apart. So I'm just going to cut it off. Yes, I might have to burn it off.
I was hoping this basket design would be on here, but I don't know if it is or not because I can't see because it's plastic bag that's on here. But we're about to find out. And these snips are not too sharp either. I need to sharpen them. I didn't know the camera was where you couldn't see what I was doing. But this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this basket off where I can get this plastic off. Still got a fire going over here. <laughs> I need to put it out. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Turning this plastic off. That turned out wonderful. I am so happy with it. It is beautiful. And I just I just used some old acrylic paint that I had back there and it was getting old. Okay, here it is. I haven't got all the plastic off, but I'll get it off with a little, some little tweezers that I have. I don't have them out here right now, but is it that beautiful? And all that is is just old acrylic paint that I mixed up to make the colors that I wanted. This is the inside. I think it turned out just wonderful. I want to let everybody see the basket design is in this in this uh, pot. I forgot to even look at that, but that that basket design is in here, so that's what I was wanting the the basket to be basket design to be in it. I'm gonna spray some sealer on it. My little thing here don't want to turn. Okay, that is so beautiful to me. 
is wonderful. This is the first first time I've ever tried this. So I think it done great. Everyone have a blessed, blessed day. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Thank you.